Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Um, it's a G5 unboxing. I'm recording this after I have recorded the unboxing bit. It is sitting there right now, downloading some updates, and it is absolutely flying, guys. It's absolutely awesome. And, uh, yeah, let me just go over the specs first. It's a dual 1.8 gigahertz uh, G5, uh, only a gig of RAM. Um, 160 gig hard drive space came with 80, but I have the 80 from my other G5. I think I might use that 80 for a time machine. I'm not I'm not too sure. Um, pardon for the hair as well. I just got out of the shower. Um, but yeah, I I want to explain just before I unbox it why I got the G5 over the Mini. And it was it was for a few reasons really. The first reason being expandability. The Mac Minis use a, a smaller 2.5 inch laptop hard drive, and you can only put one in there. Um, unless you get the server model, but that's too new and it costs you money, but whatever. Um, G5s could fit two full size SAT, SAT hard drives in there. Um, RAM, 4 gigs can go in here, 2 gigs in the Core Duo Mac Minis. Um, speed. I think they're pretty much, uh, pretty much cancel each other out. I mean, dual 1.8 G5s or dual 1.66 core duos, maybe the uh, Mac Minis would would probably edge it. But yeah, and the third reason being Power PC. I don't know. There's just something about Power PC. It's it's I just like it, and I felt that I wanted to stay on it uh, for longer. Because it is still usable, and this machine is flying. And the fourth reason is it's a G5. I had the the 1.6 G5 if you watched that unboxing, but um, as you all know, it's gone. It's actually not gone. It's downstairs, ready to be shipped off to someone. Someone's bought it. Um, but yeah, I felt I didn't get. It's my favourite case design of all time, the Mac Pro slash G5 case. And I didn't. I don't feel I got uh, the full full feel of what a G5 can do. So I wanted to get another one, and they are just lovely, lovely machines. And hopefully this will be with me for a long time. So um, enjoy the video, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Here it is, another G5, dual 1.8. Oh my god. This is going to be really hard to get open. There's so much tape on this thing. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you on the tripod and try. Okay. Um, I'll try the best I can with the, the awful camera angle. Hopefully this will all work properly. fastest Mac I've ever owned. Pretty amazing. Alright, I can see it. I'm just going to get it out now, okay? Here it is. The wrong way round. Really dusty. I hope it's not um, that dusty on the inside. This is something really interesting. Look what they use for packers on the handles. They use wood. They just rammed it in there. I, sp I have seen a lot of uh, these G5s where they've been uh, delivered, like um, packaged, and they've, you know, they've gone. You get me? The the foot is bent. But um, this looks okay. I'm gonna look on the inside now. Not too dusty though. 
I do have that other 80 gig drive. That'll be going back in there as well, so I'll have 160 gigs of storage because that's a standard 80 gig in there as well. Um, FX 5200 again, 64 megs of VRAM. Hopefully I'll upgrade that one day. But um, it's a good card for normal stuff. I think these are... There's one... I can see two Hynix sticks. Uh... I'm just not going to want to focus. They're 256 megs. So there's four 256 megs in there. Oh well. Hopefully I can replace all of them with uh, one gig sticks in the future. Expensive, but worth it in, my, in uh, my opinion, because this is actually a really, really nice machine. So um, I'm going to hook it up now and uh, see if it turns on. Okay, so I've got everything pretty much set up, and uh, I thought I'd show you uh, the Geekbench score. I do have both of the hard drives in there now. Um, they're both working absolutely fine. 1650. That's pretty. That's twice. That's double the score my uh, 1.6 G5 had. It's just amazing. It's um sitting up there working well. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and uh, there'll be loads and loads of videos on this to come. See ya.